Hi, and welcome to Agricultural and Biological Engineering. We have a lot to be excited about. We were recently ranked the number one undergraduate program for the 10th year running by U.S. News & World Report. Our graduate programs have been ranked number one or two for 12 years in a row. All of that has been accomplished with our faculty, students, and staff spread across 10 locations across the entire campus. However, distance will soon be a thing of the past as we prepare to move into a newly renovated space and a brand new addition with five stories plus a basement of classrooms, shops, and research spaces. Now, let's take a look inside. The renovated building provides spaces for advising and other student services such as student clubs. Faculty offices and student faculty collaborative spaces can be found in this totally redesigned interior. We're in the new addition. We'll start at the fifth floor and work our way down. Up here you'll find our biological engineering research labs and the views aren't too bad either. Faculty and students are set up to interact and collaborate. Biological engineering student activities, like our iGEM team, have spaces here to work on their projects too. iGEM stands for the International Genetically Engineered Machines Competition. For more than a decade, Purdue undergraduate teams have competed in this global competition. Students in our program who focus on biotechnology will benefit by having access to the latest technologies and interactions with our expert faculty. The fourth floor is home to bioprocess engineering and food engineering research labs. This will be the new home for the Laboratory of Renewable Resources Engineering after spending the past 40 years across campus in the Potter Engineering Center. In addition to the research that's happening on this floor into renewable fuels, biopolymers, bioproducts, and foods, the makerspace on this floor is equipped for student projects into the design of these processes at the industrial scale. The third floor will be home to water and environmental labs. These facilities are designed to do the chemical and physical analyses of water and soil samples that are collected in the field and pre-processed in the spaces on the ground floor. Sensors for monitoring water quality, environmental conditions, and soil health will be developed here as well. The makerspace on this floor enables students to get hands-on experiences with soil and water analysis and further develop and test their project ideas. Faculty offices and student-faculty collaborative spaces can be found in this redesigned interior. On the second floor, there are computational labs. There is also a glass-walled walkway, providing a view to the event spaces and the classrooms on the first floor. This will be extremely helpful when major equipment such as combines and tractors are on display, giving both students and industry visitors alike multiple perspectives. On the first floor, there is the versatile engagement space, which is anticipated to be highly utilized for hosting companies, events, and showcasing student work. Research space on this floor is dedicated to machinery, sensing, fluid power, and robotics for research and hands-on classroom experiences. The space is designed not only for the flow of people and ideas, but data as well. Sensors developed and tested here go out into the field and the environment. Terabytes of data flow back for computer analysis and the development of better decision tools that will help make food and bioproduct production more sustainable while feeding a growing global population. In the basement, almost all of the spaces are totally dedicated to teaching and learning. The classrooms are designed to facilitate student interaction with faculty and with fellow students. We have side-by-side -side teaching laboratory spaces that bridge between the wet and squishy world of biological engineering and the dry and hard spaces dedicated to developing sensors and electronics that measure, monitor, and control biological and agricultural processes in the field and in the factory. This facility is an excellent location for research, demonstration, and learning. We'll have many new ways for working together, back and forth, from basic to applied research, from the field to practice. We're very excited about this new space and what it will mean for our students, our faculty, and our staff. Not only for Indiana, but the impacts that we'll have on the country and the world. 
We hope that when we're able to meet in person again, you'll feel free to stop by and visit our new facilities.